So let's say we wanted to solve this system of equations. It's a three variable system. So up here we have our three equations. There, notice the variables are x, y, and z. Um, and we're going to use the calculator and use uh, matrices to solve this three variable system. So right underneath this equation, I've written the same, uh, sorry, right underneath the system, I've written the same system using matrices. Um, we have what we call matrix A is this 3 by 3 matrix. We have our variable matrix right here, um, 3 by 1, just listing our variables. And then our constant matrix, which we sometimes call matrix B. Uh, matrix A, I forgot to mention, is, meant, is also called our coefficient matrix. So um, it's the same exact system. We're just sort of representing it using matrices. And the product of the first two matrices is equal to this um, third matrix over here. So how we notice uh, are the coefficients are the rows of matrix A. 4, negative 2, and 7 are coming right from 4, negative 2, and 7 up here. Notice that last row, the coefficient of y is 0. Um, notice there is no y um, in this equation over here. These uh, numbers in our B matrix are coming from our constants, 25, negative 10, and 0 right here. Um, so the calculator is going to solve this um, three-variable system using um, matrices for us. We just have to tell it what to do. So over here in the calculator, we're going to go to the matrix function, which is second x negative 1 there. And we want to input um, this first 3 by 3 matrix as matrix A. So we're going to arrow over to edit. We want to edit matrix A. Right now my matrix A is a 1 by 1. I want to change that to a 3 by 3 using the arrow keys, uh, navigating where I want to go. Now I want to enter these three rows into matrix A. 4, negative 2, and 7 in, as row 1. 9, 3, and 1 as row 2. And 1, 0, negative 3 as our third row. Anytime a mistake happens with solving these systems using matrices, 9 times out of 10 it's because you typed one of these silly little numbers incorrectly. So it's worth double, triple checking the matrices that you put into the calculator. We now want to put this matrix, our constant matrix, in as matrix B. We're not going to enter our variable matrix into the calculator because the calculator doesn't care what our variables are. We just put that because we know we're solving for x, y, and z. But the calculator doesn't care if it's x, y, z, a, b, c, p, q, r. So we're just going to put the two numerical matrices in there. We're going to go back to matrix but this time we're going to edit matrix B. Matrix B is a 3 by 1 matrix, so I had to adjust that. And that is, has the values 25, negative 10, and 0. All right, now I'm going to quit out of this. I now have matrix A and matrix B stored in my calculator. In order to solve for this variable matrix, in order to solve for x, y, and z, we want to find the inverse of a times b. It's using some matrix algebra that you might not have heard of yet, um, but this does end up being a really quick way to solve a system. So what, the, what is the inverse of a matrix? That's something we're going to investigate later, or you might even investigate that next year in math. Um, but it's worth learning how to do this on the calculator now, because this is a really quick way of solving this three-variable system. Let's see, so A inverse, we're going to go back to matrix. This time under names, I'm just going to hit enter for A. To get the inverse of A, we hit this x negative 1 key right here. That gives us to the power of, it's not really to the power of negative 1, it's really the inverse of matrix A. Then we're going to go back to matrix under names. I'm now going to hit B. This is now going to calculate A inverse times B, and it gives us our solution matrix. So x is 1.46, y is negative 7.88 roughly, and z is 0.487. If I wanted to find fractional values for these, I would hit math, frac, which will convert our previous answer into fractions. And oh, turns out x we could also write as 165 113 uh, y could be negative by 890 113 z could be 55 113 There you go. That's how you solve a system of three variables using matrices on the calculator. It's a lot faster than solving by hand.